So who's going to be the next celebrity to cross over inside the squared circle and wow us with their athletic prowess? Could it be Zac Efron? Mr. Beast? That goofy dude from Love is Blind 2? Anywho, wrestling and celebrities have been tag teaming together for decades, which begs the question that I will answer today. Well, that being said, I'm Kevin Callis. This is Wrestling Behind the Themes. And here are the 10 celebrities with the best wrestling theme music. I tell you. DX is gonna kick your ass right now. Number 10. Iron Mike Tyson has faced down the best in both boxing and sports entertainment, and his involvement in WrestleMania 14, serving as the special enforcer in the massive showdown between Austin and Michaels, Tyson caused a media circus to surround the 1998 show of shows. Being led down the aisle, this beat is a bop for the baddest man on the planet. Number 9. When Jackass hit TV screens in the early 2000s, it quickly propelled a group of unknown slacker stuntmen into the big leagues. Hellbent on massive amounts of self-destruction, the head Jackass, Johnny Knoxville, became notorious for his wince-inducing injuries he inflicted upon himself in the name of entertainment. But it wasn't just Johnny and his crazy castmates and their fondness for getting tasered in the balls that were thrown into the limelight. So too, did the show's theme music. Unofficially called the Jackass song, this tune is by the Minutemen and called Corona. It was music to our ears to hear this upbeat ditty accompany Johnny to the ring for his hilarious match versus Sami Zayn and not some generic deaf rebel drivel. Number the phrase, and the rest is history, gets tossed around a lot. But after Jerry Lawler met comedian Andy Kaufman, that statement has never rang truer. And while Kaufman isn't the best celebrity wrestler on this list, he is the best celebrity wrestling bad guy for his villainous antics, which included fighting women and calling himself the intergender wrestling champion of the world. Eventually, Andy got his comeuppance both inside the squared circle and outside of it. However, decades Decades later, we found out that Kaufman and the King planned the entire thing because in hindsight, Andy was the original King of Trolls. Just like when he used this song by the Bobs called March and Fanfare for his entrance theme that somehow manages to be both epic and comical at the same time. Number seven. David Arquette's childhood passion for wrestling turned into a reality just as the actor became a household name in the late 1990s due to his starring role in the horror movie Scream franchise and his marriage to the beautiful Courtney Cox. When in the spring of 2000, while promoting the movie Ready to Rumble, Arquette somehow ended up winning one of the most prestigious titles in wrestling history. Now if this was a list of the worst celebrity wrestling moments of all time, the Scream star's fluke victory would be the obvious top choice. However, musically speaking, having a cover of the Twisted Sister classic, We're Not Gonna Take It by punk rocker Biff Naked was an excellent choice. Number six. Global hip-hop sensation Bad Bunny and the WWE took full advantage of the COVID-19 pandemic to work together while his world tour was postponed. Now, Bunny initially caught the attention of the wider WWE audience with his music video for the song Booker T, named after and featuring the two-time, two-time, two-time Hall of Famer himself. From there, Bunny began a feud with The Miz and John Morrison, leading to a match at the granddaddy of them all that honestly exceeded all ex expectations. Bunny's badass entrance wasn't his only highlight from the night as he took to the top rope and even performed a Canadian destroyer. This was a home run all over because Miz, Joe Mo, and Bunny's tag team partner Damian Priest all got the rub from working with the mainstream megastar. Bullet Club for, 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 for life. Number five. 
Playing a superhero on TV, Stephen Amell was known to do some of the Green Arrow's death-defying stunts by himself. But really, that was just a precursor to him getting more involved in one of his primary passions. The Star of Heels dipped his toe in the wrestling waters at SummerSlam 2015, when he teamed up with Neville against Stardust and the Cosmic King Barrett. This match led to a subsequent friendship between Amell and Cody Rhodes in real life that would carry over into Ring of Honor after Cody left the WWE. In ROH, Steven joined the Bullet Club and truly shined when he had his first ever singles match against Christopher Daniels at the special All-In pay-per-view back in 2018, where he used one of the most badass entrance themes over the past decade. Hit this smell! What the rock is cooking? Number four. With an abundance of catchphrases like Muhammad Ali and a plethora of nicknames akin to Apollo Creed, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is without a doubt the most electrifying man to have ever been a part of the WWE Universe. Really, everything about Dwayne is electric, so obviously his entrance music needed to harness that same energy that oozes out of his pores whenever he walks that proverbial aisle. Nowadays, every WWE appearance The Rock makes is a a newsworthy event, and this tune always pops the crowd gut. Legendary composer Jim Johnston gave us this iconic entrance music, which started out with a simple bass line that finally morphed into a masterpiece as magnificent as The Rock. Number three. With a casual audience in mind, the emphasis of the first WrestleMania was certainly on the entertainment aspect, and the event was chock full of special celebrity guests. Chief among them was Mr. T, then at the height of his fame on the back of starring roles in Rocky III and the television series The A-Team. Now, the pitier of fools was aligned with Vince McMahon's golden goose, Hulk Hogan, helping the Hulkster in his battle against mortal enemy, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff, in the main event of the inaugural event. However, Hogan had yet to become a real American, so the dynamic duo made their raucous entrance that memorable afternoon to the massive 80s hit Eye of the Tiger. And to this day, this smash by the band Survivor is a pulse-pounding jock rock jam that runs wild in sports arenas across the world. Number two. Pat McAfee's boyhood dream was not to be an all-pro NFL punter, but rather to be a WWE superstar. And the boomstick has achieved just that, and a whole lot more, as McAfee Mania truly ran wild during his WrestleMania debut in 2022. Accompanied by the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, Pat strode out to the ring to the stupendous sound of the White Stripes' Seven Nation Army as the WWE Universe shook the rafters at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Now this dude has the it factor and the ability to entertain us on multiple levels as he's become a media mogul superstar. And yes, he was recently given his own generic entrance theme song, but this bass thumping bop was the best choice of music for a celebrity wrestler except for our number one. But before we reveal that celeb, please be sure to subscribe if you enjoy watching our unique brand of wrestling theme song content and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Number one. WCW's decision to feature NBA star Dennis Rodman was a risky one that could have blown up in their faces at any moment. The flamboyant yet unpredictable Rodzilla was affiliated with the New World Order and worked a handful of matches for Ted Turner's promotion, including a tag match with his rival from the courts, the mailman Carl Malone. Now, the worm was an all-star athlete with a controversial public image that guaranteed the NBA's bad boy would receive strong reactions whenever he got on screen. And pairing the Chicago Bull up with the hottest heel faction in wrestling at the time was also certain to be a heat magnet. But looking back, I wonder if his presence was worth the huge investment. Nonetheless, having one of the most iconic theme songs of all time makes Rodman number one in our book. 
So what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree with our list? Either way, please leave a comment down below to let us know what you think. And don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up because it really helps our channel grow and reach new people. And I'll see you next time right here on Wrestling Behind the Themes.